hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Virgins. And today I'm gonna give you five things I hate about my 2020 812 Superfast. This car is quickly becoming one of the best cars that I have ever owned. From a high performance sports car to a comfortable long distance Grand Tour, the 812 is amazing. But no car is perfect, so here are five things I hate about it. The first thing I hate about the 812 Superfast is the fact that it has automatic stop start. Now this makes a ton of sense in economy cars and vehicles where you're trying to get the best fuel economy, but in a loud supercar with a six and a half liter V12 that makes 789 horsepower, not so much. Now, manufacturers have to do this. Why? To boost their overall company fuel economy average. So if a car company has a bunch of gas guzzling SUVs and some of the other cars, they need stop start to help offset that. So every time you come to a complete stop in the 812 Superfast, it actually turns the engine off to save on gas. Now considering it gets 12 miles per gallon in the city and 16 on the highway, uh, it's not exactly the most fuel efficient car. Now you can deactivate it by clicking a button up here uh, on the roof, but unlike the McLaren where simply putting it in race mode or sport mode turns the car off, uh, doing auto stop start entirely, you have to click that button every single time. Now, what's the problem with that? Well, the car is really, really loud. And if you have an aftermarket exhaust, you're gonna sound like you're revving the car and like you're a complete jerk. All of a sudden, when you left your foot off the brake and you go back onto the gas, it fires up and, well, I wasn't revving the car. I was simply just stop starting and trying to save the economy. All right, now for reason number two, and it has to do with the name. This Ferrari is called the 812 Superfast. Not just the 812, nope, 812 Superfast. Now, that's cool and all, except it's not cool whatsoever. The amount of times I've heard, hey man, is your car super fast? Well, yes, it happens to be, but even though the name says it, it just doesn't make any sense. So why did they decide to call it that? And why, oh why, did they decide to call their hypercar the Ferrari La Ferrari, which translates to the Ferrari, the Ferrari? Well, there is a reason, but I don't quite enjoy it. Now, it's a marketing issue, right? If you guys knew, and I'm about to tell you, the reason why this is called the 812 Superfast, and that is because back in 1956, they had a car called the 410 Superfast. So this is actually based on the 410 Superfast name, as well as the 500 Superfast. But Ferrari decided not to tell anyone that and make a name that honestly sounds like a third grader made it. Now that's a cool name from a third grader's perspective. We might as well call it the Ferrari really, really fast and it's blue and has four wheels. Actually, that's a good name. We'll go with that. If you guys missed my last couple of videos, make sure to watch because I picked up a new Mercedes Maybach. And in that video, I let you guys know about a pretty cool giveaway. Uh, the Maybach and the Rolls, but more particularly the Rolls, has a CD in it for the owner's manual. But on that CD, I want to either take the etching and, and the design of it and create a CD with my favorite songs and maybe some moments from Vehicle Virgin's history. In order to win that giveaway, all you have to do is leave a funny or nice comment on any of this video or the next three after that. Now the comment with the most likes is going to get that epic free CD. So guys, smash that subscribe button now, turn that notification bell on. The content is back and it's better than ever. All right, on to the next one. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, bad boy, me go hard away. For the record. Are you joking? Uh, okay, so, oh, are you, are you, this shit probably cost a oh my, so the next thing I was cleaning the back was to show you about the trunk, and this has never happened on any supercar or any car I've ever had. This beautiful metal Ferrari badge has now uh, detached and bent off of the window. So I guess that's one of the things I hate about it. It wasn't before, but I mean, quality control, I was literally going like this. One of the strands hooked on it. I mean. You shouldn't be able. You should be able to clean your car yourself, right? As car guys, I want to be able to clean my car, and and it hooked, and and now I need to find out how expensive that is. So, 
Uh, please subscribe and uh, buy the merch coming soon because this probably costs more than uh, uh, the typical car payment on an average car. The A12 is really practical. It has a huge rear trunk with a ton of luggage space. In fact, twice that of its competitor, the Aventador S. But there's something about the trunk I really don't like, and that's the fact that there's no external trunk release whatsoever. There's only a button inside and on the key. But let's say your key's in your pocket, you've got a bunch of stuff, and you come up to the car. Well, you can't do anything. Now, I actually worked uh, for Lexus at one point on a technology that's very common on basic cars, where just a sensor allows you to kick underneath here and it pops the trunk. There's not a button on the Ferrari, there's no button under here, there is no way to open the trunk without the key or without clicking that button. Furthermore, once you do that, for a $424,000 car, you'd expect some sort of power opening tailgate. Now, you could claim it's for weight savings, but the new McLaren GT is lighter than this car, yet it has a power opening trunk. The good news is, uh, you actually got a new handle here with your Ferrari, nope, that'll make it worse. Pop this up. And there you go. But honestly, as a suggestion to Ferrari, a simple sensor down here, a kick sensor, or perhaps a button right there, or any button whatsoever to allow you to do that, as well as power opening, would be a pretty cool feature. When you're paying this much to not get simple features that you get on a $20,000, $30,000 economy car, it's a little silly. I love listening to music. The reality is, up in the canyons, I'm going to have the windows down and the music off and just listen to that V12. But I live in Los Angeles, and no matter where you live, you're gonna be in a bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic situation, wanting to tear your hair out, and sometimes music is the perfect solution. Now, to solve that, we've got Bluetooth, you've got your phone, but it's not easy whatsoever in the A12 Superfast. For one, the interface is kind of annoying. Every single time you turn the car on, you've gotta click this button here to get rid of the warning message that says, the use of the functions of the application of this device, blah, 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 blah. All right, we're turning that off. Now, finally, we can toggle to Bluetooth. Now, here's the issue. It's not all that difficult to pair if you don't have your phone plugged in. But the second you're on navigation, your phone's dying, and you wanna plug the phone in, Connecting it via the iPhone cable as well as Bluetooth at the same time will make you want to crash your A12 into a wall. No matter what I've tried, Bluetooth off and just the cable, or Bluetooth on first and then the cable, or the cable first and then Bluetooth, it's nearly impossible and it is just an entire pain in the butt. They need to come up with a solution. I've got some ideas. If you guys do Bluetooth, email me, seriously, because I've got this invention that I think might make Bluetooth connectivity a lot more simple. Regardless, in this Ferrari, it's a pain. Most cars, it's a pain, but I've never had this much trouble in any single car. Now, once again, as car guys, I understand. You could just not listen to music at all, sure. But this has upgraded speaker systems that cost a heck of a lot of money. Why would I want upgraded speakers if I couldn't listen to the music I want. Regardless, I love the A12 super fast. It's crazy fast, it sounds incredible, it's comfortable, it's luxurious. The tech features, the amenity, honestly, this is the best car in my opinion, in its category, through and through. I would take this over a 720S all day long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. New videos every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. or sometimes maybe 8 p.m. I look forward to seeing you next video.